In this video, we're going to be talking about the Insights and Reports tab. Insights is available from the left-hand menu if you click Insights, Reports, and then Insights. The Insights page helps you find trends in your market and understand your performance. Insights for your business are based on your account's performance and searches across Google for the products and services for which you wish to show ads. They are updated daily. The benefits are Insights tailored to your business. The Insights page looks for trends relevant to products and services you advertise across Google. Understand your performance. Drill down into each insight to get detailed information about your account's performance and potential opportunity. And also you can act on recommendation. The recommendations are integrated with the insights. For example, here, fix it and making it easy to take action. There are a number of different types of insight. First is diagnostic insights, which is the first tab here. This helps you identify reasons why your campaign may not be showing or getting conversions. For example, when ads are not serving due to paused ads groups, account suspensions or low ad strength. So here we've got a campaign is poor, so it's, it's giving the option to fix it. And it's giving also diagnostics about the count here. It's saying, they, you know, they've got the count status, budget, etc. And there's one campaign is paused. The next box here gives the overall performance across campaigns. It's got the number of conversions in this particular account, 20% down, cost and cost per acquisition. And here you can do different rate date ranges. It's got seven days and last 28 days. So let's just change it to last 28 days and you can see the performance trends. Next, we've got performance shift insights. You can see here when there are significant changes in performance for entities within your campaign, such as ad groups, asset groups, or product groups, keywords, or videos. The specific entities shown depend on your campaign type. You can use these insights to help you understand what drove changes in your campaign performance. So here it's got a list of the top performing campaigns and you can also split it up by portfolios, target locations, and devices. And it'll show you here the, for example, the different um, devices Significant increases, no significant increases, significant decreases. You can see there's 23% 20%, less traffic on computers and 18% less on mobiles. And look here, we've got significant decreases in traffic on these two campaigns. Search Terms Insights help you understand how your target market searches for and engages with your business on Google. It groups together search terms your site has appeared for in the last 28 days into categories and subcategories with key performance metrics for each. So in this account, it's to do with plants, so it's got garden border design, two, con two more conversions, and it's got 16% less search volume. And if you click into it, you can see more information about the key phrases which are being used. There's a recommendation here to raise your budget because it's saying your ads are stopping on busiest days. Audience insights. These are the characteristics of the audience segments that make up your conversions. These insights help you understand your customers to help you improve targeting creatives and campaign performance. So it's got here the audience segments, type of the segment, the share of the clicks, and number of campaigns that audience is included in. Another recommendation here, add new keywords. You can view, they would give you a view of the keyword. If you click that, it'll take you to where you can view the keywords it recommends you add. So this has taken us to a recommendation. It's given us a list of keywords to add and the campaign it recommends adding them to. And if we select them, we can then apply those recommendations and they'll be automatically added to the campaign. Another insight here, remove redundant keywords. It would also, if you take that, it'll, it'll give you more information on it. Search trends. Search trends help you understand the search demand for products and services related to your business. So it's showing here that yard and equipment suppliers is trendy compared to last year. It's saying it's up 20%, 6% from last year. Although they're not showed in this particular campaign, there are a number of other diagnostic insights. First is demand focus. This helps you understand and predict upcoming searches related to your business, allowing you to plan. You can, you've got your change history insights, which shows your recent changes that you made that affected your campaign performance. Next option is auction insights. Auction insights report compares your performance to other advertisers who are taking place in the same auctions. This allows you to make decisions about bidding and budgeting. The auction insight report is available for search, shopping and performance max campaigns. So here we've got a list of campaigners and on the first column is impression share. That's the number of impressions which you have received divided by the number of impressions you are eligible to receive. Overlap rate, the frequency with which another advertiser's ad received an impression at the same time as yours. Ad ranking share, that's how often your ad was ranked higher in an auction than another advertiser's ad. The position above rate, that's how often your advertiser's, other advertiser's ad was shown in a higher position than yours when both ads were shown simultaneously. Top of page rate, that's how frequently your ad was shown above the unpaid search results at the top of the page. 
and the absolute top of page, that is when your ad appears absolutely at the top of the page in search ads. The search terms report, as accessed from the left-hand side menu here, is a list of the search terms that people have used when your ad was served. The mash tab column, the mash tab column which is here, shows how closely the search terms that triggered your ad on Google were related to the actual keywords on the account. By checking the match types that work, you can refine match types so that only the right search has triggered your ad to appear. So here you can see, as I say, the match type and also whether that keyword is currently added or excluded, the campaign it's in, ad group, and then competitive metrics. So by looking at the match type, you, you can see here that the conversion rate on baby bar seat was 1.74%, but the Recaro car seat was only 0.14%, so it would be good to add that as a negative match type. The landing pages report gives you a performance breakdown for the pages you sent traffic to from your ads. The page reports all landing pages URLs from display from search display video and shopping ads. For search campaigns, the landing page report also gives the site links URL and the headline URLs. The landing page gives you performance of that landing page and also the mobile friendliness of that page. When and where ads are shown, believe it or not, shows when and where the ads are shown. So the first tab is when the ads are shown and that is giving the, the time, the day and the date and also the campaign and the performance by that time. So that enables you to find out the best time of the day and the week that your ads perform and perhaps filter out the, the ones that don't perform so well and bid up the ones that do. Where ads are shown gives you the placements. Devices will show the devices, for example, mobile phones, computers and tablets and the performance by device and also the bid adjustments. And finally, the match locations. This gives performance by location. The final two things which we'll talk about in different videos are report editor and dashboard.